In tonight's 21 Country, we're revisiting the Allen County Public Library's massive Lincoln collection, one of the biggest in the nation. But because it's closed to the public right now, we're asking the senior Lincoln librarian, Emily Raposa, to share her top five most interesting items from inside the vault. Here's the list. First on our list, a portrait of the president's wife. Definitely the most popular item in our collection, the most well-known item in our collection is the Mary Todd Lincoln spirit photo. During and after the Civil War, spirit photography hit its peak. People interested in the afterlife would jump at the chance to have their portrait taken with the dead. This one's unusual because it's definitely Abraham Lincoln. And he's definitely standing behind Mary, and he even has his hand on top of her shoulder. But is it real? It's a real photo. Mary really did sit for William Mumler, the spirit photographer, while he was in Boston. Whether the ghost is real or not, well, that's up to you. Number two on the list, the Daily Citizen, wallpaper edition. During the Civil War, a Confederate town printed defiance on paper, vowing to never fall to Grant's Union troops. When that did happen, Union soldiers added their own addendum to the scathing article. Two days bring about great change. This shall be the last edition and a curiosity of the wallpaper edition of the Daily Citizen. Well, wallpaper edition, well, Vicksburg was out of everything, including newsprint, which meant they were printing on actual rolls of wallpaper. Lincoln's personal copy of The Life and Speeches of Henry Clay comes in at number three. His admiration for his political role model is reflected inside. He actually held these pages, touched them, and wrote on them. It's the only place we find writing in the entire two-volume set which meant that Lincoln was thinking about slavery well before he became president. Number four, the collection houses Lincoln's personal family photo album. Besides the president and the first lady, it also shows Lincoln's sons, Robert, Willie, and Tad. He is uh, decided that he doesn't quite look soldierly enough. So Tad himself has drawn on a mustache, goatee, eyebrows, sideburns, and a sword and sword belt. Uh, this is probably one of the earliest examples of Photoshop that you'll find in this album. And lastly, we also have some much more fragile amber types. Two more photos of his boys on one of the earliest photographic formats. They're ex extremely fragile, which means that you actually have to frame them to keep them from flaking or breaking and snapping. And what's really great about them is, besides that both boys look very uncomfortable in their finest garb, if you look at their cheeks, they're actually painted pink to look a little more alive and awake. And then, another example of Photoshop. That's some great stuff there yeah. at the library. Uh, you can view all of that virtually online right now by visiting lincolncollection.org. We posted our full interview with Emily Raposa there, the expert. It includes a lot more on each of those items. That's on our website right now, WPTA21.com. Interesting stuff, Brian.